this is a follow-up video about the Olympus being sold to Japan industrial partners. There have been a lot of discussion on my uh, comments on that video, and I will answer some of the comments, some of the some of your concerns, and also comment on what else has been written about in different blogs and and uh, videos. Coming up. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we get into those comments and what I think about those and what I want to answer to you, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and of course about Olympus gear. But let's start with the first one. There's a lot of concerns about Micro Four Thirds, is it going away? And you know, some have predicted it many years. But I disagree. I don't think Micro Four Thirds is, go Micro Four Thirds is going anywhere. It's, it's funny how a lot of vloggers and bloggers always kind of like Olympus cameras and they say it's a great camera, got lots and lots of good features, really, really fun to use. And then they say that it's no use because it has a small sensor. And I have to remind you that most of those bloggers and bloggers, they are not photographers. They are gear reviewers and some of them even want to be photographers. Sorry, that's a brutal truth. And so I've used all different kinds of cameras and different uh, size sensor cameras. I've used full frame APS-C and micro four thirds. And then I use my phone all the time for photography and it never ever has been about the sensor size. So that's something that for me, it's really, really hard to understand why the sensor size is just, is just a big thing. Of course, okay, if it is, then I can't do anything about it. But remember, it's not, it's not about sensor. Photography is not about sensor size. It's about your skill, your, your ability to learn and your will to learn about photography. It's about storytelling. It's about, uh, uh, well, it's about telling stories. And I think that's the most important thing. And I was talking about the vloggers and bloggers, and this comes to my second point or second comment is that I was watching uh, Tony and Chelsea Northrop's very good video about Olympus being shutting down and, and you know he, Tony especially Tony Northrop has been uh, quite a many times uh, predicting that Micro Four Third is going to die and Olympus is going to be one of those first camera brands that will die but there was one thing that caught my eye when I was uh, or actually caught my ear I was watching he said that uh, people been uh, accusing him about the whole situation with Olympus and that's kind of silly of course it's not somebody's fault there's not one person it's 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 the whole market it's m mobile phones it's, it's the whole thing but then of course we have to remember that youtubers and bloggers have a very big influence on consumers and people and they are kind of shaping people's opinions about stuff so there is of course a small part to blame. I don't know blame is a wrong word, but because of course I have an influence on you. Uh, what I say about cameras, about Olympus cameras, is is influencing you. Of course, you if you're smart, you kind of like read between the lines and you can decide yourself. I'm not saying that that I'm have been deciding before you, but I've got lots of emails that people have been inspired by Olympus because of my videos, and that's really nice because that's really a good thing that there is value in in my content. And uh, I will get back to my, what, what, what does this mean to my channel, this Olympus thing being sold. But getting back to what I was uh, saying about the vloggers and YouTubers, that they are influencing people a lot. It goes both ways, in good and, and in bad. And, but this does not mean that it's somebody's uh, fault, some YouTubers or, or bloggers' fault. I'm just saying that uh, it's, it's one part of the whole thing, like the... the uh, mobile phones are being really good and of course the full frame thing is one thing and and, and the whole market is is going down it's, it, there are lots and lots of bit little pieces that have caused this and of course then this uh spring the coronavirus thing of course has affected in the whole so there are lots and lots of small pieces that has affected what happened and then the third thing I said that JIP, the Japan uh, Industrial Partners, is a development company. And there were some that saying that it's not, it's, it's a kind of like a venture capitalist thing that it, it will acquire and, and then sell the best parts. And yeah, that could happen. That could happen. But what they said 
both in their uh, documents when they when they announced this this uh, being sold Olympus being sold was that uh, they are building a new company which was referred to Newco which new company I don't know the name of it yet and I guess they don't either know that will uh, take over the Olympus camera business and will start making those cameras so it's not going away in, in any time soon but of course we cannot say what happens in five years they could sell it in five years I don't know or they might continue uh, having the company if they can make it profitable but that's for sure it has to be profitable to continue otherwise it will be sold like any other camera manufacturer will have to do if they keep making uh, big losses in the future of course that is a no-brainer let's see what was else yeah then there was about my channel uh, some of you have asked me what will happen to my channel and and that's really nice that you have a concern and, and that tells me that you want me to uh, continue making videos about Olympus and about photography and yes I will I have no intention of uh, stopping that why would I and, uh, and and as I said I really appreciate those concerns and, and and feel happy that I can give you some value and I will try to continue to do that and of course I always try to be better at this because it's uh, as I said it's it's my third language English and I'm trying to be better and, and give you value so that you can enjoy photography and your and, and learning about your gear because learning about your gear will make you a better photographer because you can uh, how do you say that you can uh, actually forget about the camera because you know it inside out then you can concentrate on the photography so you don't have to think about the camera that much that's why it's really an important thing to learn about your camera and then there was uh, uh, a concern about uh, my visionary status nothing has changed I am still a visionary and I will be at least until my contract is over by the end of the year and that's also also the time when the the Olympus and uh, JIP deal will be closed or by then it is closed but what happens after that I don't know and uh, it's not a big deal of course I really enjoy being a visionary it's, it's an it's an honor and and also makes me easier to to uh, provide you the information because it's easier for me to get access to different different Olympus and Mzuko gear but it's uh, if, if there isn't any visionary program after after uh, or, or begin in the beginning of next year I don't doesn't really you know it, it's not the big deal in, in my own career I, I still am being able to make images and videos without being a visionary so it's not a big deal for me but of course I would like to be in the future also because it's 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 a good thing and if you have any more questions about this and uh, please ask them in the comments down below and I will keep you posted in the upcoming months every time I hear something that is worth sharing so if you haven't subscribed please do so so that you can follow my my new videos about photography Olympus gear and, and of course about the industry but hey Thanks for watching and bye for now.